Hello everyone! So today's video is going to be a little different. I am doing the draw my life tag. So um, it's going to be not so much about makeup and more about getting to know me. So I hope you guys like it and let's just get started. So it all started on September 24th, 1993. I was born in Montreal, Canada. A, and I do not say that. And I also do not live in Igloo contrary to popular belief that it's actually it doesn't really snow where I live now but anyway um, I was born to a mom whose name is Louise and a dad who had a mustache and his name was Angelo and he was a mechanic and they also had another daughter named Amanda she was five years older than me so getting on to when I was one year old we moved from Montreal all the way to Kelowna, which is a small town across the country in British Columbia. It's kind of near Vancouver and I was one year old like I said and we moved into a cute little house which is now my dad's house. I visit him all the time and I love this house. It's near an orchard and it has all, time, all kinds of really tall trees and it was really nice to play there and I just loved it. And we also had a dog named Samson but he always ran away so we had to get rid of him. <laughs> And so, starting off with preschool, when I was four years old, I went to a French French immersion preschool. So I am now fluent in French, which is kind of cool. And it was just really nice, fun times at this preschool. I met my best friend, Corbin, and we used to play together all the time. And I remember there being a really cool playground because I always used to get rocks in my shoes. Like, no doubt, I always had rocks in my shoes like every day on the playground. Anyway, so um, this is where the story kind of gets a little weird. So long story short, my mom started working for her dad at a bank as his assistant and they actually kind of started a relationship and that kind of resulted in a not so nice messy divorce on both sides as you can see. It was just not good, but me and Corbin weren't really affected by it because we were only four years old at the time, so we didn't really understand what was going on, but they ended up together and everyone's <laughs> fine with it now, but um, yeah, so I basically my whole life I lived with my mom in a really nice house with my stepdad, my stepsister Corbin now, so she was my best friend, now she's my stepsister, which is kind of cool, and um, also my sister Amanda, and Corbin's brother, which is now my stepbrother, Stefan. So we all lived in that house together, but I also lived with my dad, like every like other week or whatever, you know, how that works, and me and Corbin were kind of like besties. We were kind of like twins, we dressed up the same, and we also had two cats, Teddy and Rocky. Rocky was mine, Teddy was hers, and it was just fun times all around. So, getting on, my mom um, put me in dance, because Corbin danced, so when I was about seven, she put me into dance, and I was actually so good that they told me I should do a solo, but no, I did not want to do a solo because I was too scared, but I ended up doing them later in life. But I ended up doing that until I was 18 years old, and I absolutely loved it. And in grade seven, my mom took me and we moved to Vancouver, the big city, because there's just a lot more opportunity with jobs and stuff there for my stepdad. But my dad still lived in Kelowna, and I visited him all the time still, but... I decided to go with my mom because it was just better in Vancouver, but I was really not happy about it at first. I hated it, and it was time for high school at that time, so I was the new kid, which kind of really sucked, <laughs> and I had no friends like the first whole year of high school. But I had Corbin, so that kind of made things a bit better, but I really didn't have like good friends until like the second year towards that I started hanging out with these girls. I guess you could say they're like the popular girls that just went out and did all these fun things at the time I thought they were fun and I just thought I was like hot stuff because I was hanging out with them and I just thought it was so cool but actually I wasn't hot, you know, kind of just, you know, kind of bitchy and like rude and I started fighting with my mom a lot and it was just not good. So I decided that after a couple like 
I guess a year of hanging out with them, I was like, no, like this is a bad influence and they're just doing all these things that I don't want to do and I just found them kind of annoying, like the things they would talk about and I just didn't really feel like I fit in very well with them. So I kind of want to like went off and did my own thing again and I didn't have much friends, but I started focusing more on dance towards the middle of high school and I really, really got into it and um, I would kind of get closer with my dance friends. Me and my dance friends were like the best of friends. We hung out all the time. time. We had sleepovers together. We were just, they were like my family. I loved my dance friends so much. We did everything together. We went shopping, sleepovers. We kind of made videos. We were obsessed with the Jonas Brothers and we even wanted to make like a reality TV show about dance, but you know, kind of like Dance Moms, but that never happened. And we also won a lot of money and awards for dance, so that was kind of cool. And kind of at the last couple years of high school, I started hanging out with like a ton of people and everyone just kind of was friends with each other. I started getting into more of acting and musical theater and my friends just kind of were better and less bitchy if you know what I mean and everyone was kind of like obsessed with the environment thrift shopping and games so that's kind of like how the hipsters came along <laughs> everyone at my school were hipsters and it's just fun times so um, then it was senior year and graduation times and me and Corbin had to like figure out what we wanted to do and after high school and our parents kind of was telling us that we had to go to university and they actually suggested that we went to Montreal for university and at first I was like I didn't really want to go to university because I have no idea what I wanted to do but everyone else was doing it so I decided to go and our parents told us we should go to Montreal for like a new kind of experience. So me and Corbin decided we were gonna go to Concordia together and have an apartment downtown Montreal. And we were really excited um, for it at first. And we put our house up for sale because my parents were gonna move as well because my stepdad lost his job and things weren't going well for that. But we packed up our stuff. We started selling all our furniture. And my mom one day decided to sell our couches to her friend, Pam. They've been friends forever. She was actually in Pam's wedding, and so Pam's um, son and Pam's husband one day came to pick up those couches, and little did I know, Josh came along, and Josh is actually Pam's son, and I knew him like when I was really little, but I hadn't seen him in a while, so that is when I met him, and he back then he kind of had Justin Bieber hair and wore a hat, but um, yeah, so I met him when he picked up the couches, and we just started dating March 2011 we started dating which was two years ago now and yeah we had some fun times but of course at the back of our heads we knew that I was moving but we even went on vacation together um, for those few months that I was still in school and living in Vancouver we had like the best few months um, ever we did everything together and we went to Barbados and it was so fun but of course I had to move away and we both knew that so that was really sad and we knew it was coming but um, from March until August we just had the funnest times ever but then August 22nd 2011 rolled around and that is the day that I moved away and I still remember the exact date because I was dreading that date so um, me and Corbin and her boyfriend and my boyfriend Josh they dropped us off at the airport and it was just like the saddest day of my life me and Josh and Corbin and Brom were splitting ways but it just had to happen because we already planned it all out and I couldn't back away from going to university so it happened me and Corbin moved to Montreal which was a five hour flight and so that was eight months no eight months was how long I'd be there from September to April that was how long I'd be at school so I was in Montreal and Josh was in Vancouver but we never thought about bro breaking up like once like we always knew it would work but it was just sucked and Skype was on a lot and it was just not fun and I became a little depressed 
Um, I wouldn't really get out of bed. I basically stayed in bed all day. I didn't eat very well and I lost 15 pounds, contrary to belief freshman 15 is actually losing 15 pounds. I just wanted to go home and see Josh. I didn't really go to school. I didn't like school. I didn't have friends where I was. And I would visit Josh like once a month, so that was kind of good, but then the best day ever, April came along and I got to move home and I never went back to school to Montreal, obviously. I just, obviously I did not like it, so I wasn't gonna go back. But now I had to decide what the heck I was gonna do with my life, what now? Like, I gave up school to come back here. I didn't want to go back. I had no plans of going back to school anytime soon. I had no job and no experience. And it was time to grow up, so I had no idea what the heck I was going to do. I had to get a big girl job, so my stepdad got me a job, thankfully, at a printing company, and I ended up working there as a receptionist. I started in April, and I would answer phones and just sit on the computer all day and it basically sucked. I worked 8 until 4.30 every day and it was tiring and my bosses were the worst people ever, especially the wife. They were husband and wife and they were just terrible people. But anyway, so I worked there until a from April until January, but I'll get into that soon. Um, while I was working there, oh wait, back in when I was in Montreal, I had nothing to do, so basically I would go on YouTube and watch beauty videos all the time. I watched them a lot in high school, but I really got into it when I was in Montreal, and when I was at work, I had nothing to do, so I just watched them all day, and I wasn't working um, on stuff I was supposed to be doing. But in 8 October, I was still at this job, and I decided to create Sierra Marie makeup, and I actually didn't post a video until November, the end of November, which was a Black Friday haul, but I deleted it because it was super embarrassing. So in January, I actually reached 1,000 subscribers, which was only three months after I started my first video. And also in January, I got laid off, I didn't know how to spell laid off, from my reception job at the print company, which kind of sucked, but I was kind of happy at the same time because I hated that job. But then I was back to square one, I had no job, I didn't know what to do, and now we're here, right now in the present time, and it's three months later, and I have 9,000 subscribers, almost 9,000, and I couldn't be happier, things are going so well with Josh and everything, and I'm actually now working for my stepdad's new company that he just made, and I'm working from home, which is really, really cool, so I don't have to go out to work and wake up early. I have no boss to boss me around, which is awesome. And it's just fun, and I just like to focus on YouTube and things like that. And it's five months so far into YouTube, and I'm already at an, almost 9,000, which is just crazy, which makes me think of the future, what can it bring. And it just makes me so excited, and I just love you guys so much. I love making videos for you guys. It's my, like, hobby. I love editing. I love reading. The best thing is reading comments. It just makes my day so much better. So I just want to thank you guys for being here for me for the fast, past five months. And I just can't be happier. So that is the end for now. But it's definitely not over. So I'll see you guys later. Bye!